The use of cold-formed steel studs is a popular building material for framing structural and non-structural walls, floors, and roofs in residential, commercial, and industrial construction projects. After being transferred by a 25-ton crane to the master coil staging area, they are processed and tagged. A worker inspects each coil and measures its width, coating, and thickness and writes the information directly on the product. Then, a small sample is cut from the coil for testing of the mechanical properties. Here, the coil samples are put under a stress test until failure to check the steel strength and formability. This information is then saved and verified that it matches with the original coil purchase. Coil is then cut into smaller width coils. This slitter can cut coils into several different thicknesses and width combinations up to 60 inches wide and 44,000 pounds. The slitter can run up to 700 feet per minute with a cut tolerance of 5,000th of an inch. Once the coil is slit, they are banded and barcode inventory tags are placed on each slit coil. This tag holds the slit coil's information that can be traced back to the master coil. A worker also writes the specifications directly on the slit coils in case a tag is removed. Slit coils are then stored near the uncoiler so they can be quickly transferred to the roll forming machine when they are scheduled to run. Next, a worker will transfer the slit coil that matches the exact specifications of the customer's order and load it onto the roll forming machine. The operator then feeds the slit coil through the machine and makes various quality checks. The roll form operator programs the machine to cut the product to the desired profile dimensions and length. Each pass on the roll former continually forms the steel into the desired product profile. Here, a drywall product is post-punched for running electrical wiring through. After the product is punched, it then runs through a hydraulic press, cutting the product to the desired length. Once the product has been roll formed and cut, it is sent down a conveyor so a worker can properly stack the product and bundle it for shipping. The product is bundled using wood band boards and heat treated banding. The forklift operator then weighs the bundle and transfers it to the shipping storage area. When a truck arrives at the truck loading area, a forklift operator will scan each bundle and load it onto the truck. Once loading is complete, the product is shipped to customers throughout the country.